Hey guys, Amanda from Council Closet, and this is my lovely husband, Tyler. And we want to talk to you about Man Week. We were talking recently, and we decided it would be fun to come up with some some, some guy-themed content that uh, we would be able to put together in a kind of a cluster, a little a little present, a little gift for, for Man all, Week for the men. Man Week. We have a whole <laughs> week. You have converted so many male characters into female outfits yeah. that they you really can't even say the clothes because the clothes it doesn't clothes do not make the man. Let me tell you what does make the man. Because menswear is like ladies' fashion. Facial clothes. hair. It's lost in stickiness. So I thought to myself, what characters have this like really inspirational facial hair? And a couple of key groups or characters come to mind. I want to start off with what I think is one of the best examples of facial hair done well to really represent A, who a character is, and B, just give a bunch of man symbolism to. So much man. So much man. Wow, much man. And that is Joel. Insert last name here from The Last of Us. Never, never in our life, our relationship, our marriage, our anything, have you ever expressed a digital crush really at all until The mm -hmm. Last of Us with Joel. Yep, I have two video game crushes, both from Naughty Dog. Oh, and Nathan Drake. I think Joel and Nathan, Nathan Drake. Drake. Joel did have a beard, right? That was like one of the few beards that I actually enjoyed. But it was well done. It was well done. Cheers he to was like dog. a grizzly man who you I wanted, wanted to date. What's what would be your one word to describe his his facial hair? I kinda liked grizzly. I kinda like That's kinda, what I was gonna say. Grizzly, because like it's like or rugged. Alright, let's continue. Number two is the Gears of War. Team. Bro fest. Delta Team has always been rocking Brota team. absolutely outstanding facial hair. And I say that with a hint of sarcasm because of the sheer amount of soul patch that was socially acceptable from 2006 yeah. to 2011. But I mean, with that being said, have you seen those old pictures of um, Gears of War mastermind creator Cliff Blazinski? Pre Gears of War, when he was rocking some very interesting he facial did. hair. He did. He... So I don't know if he maybe wanted to like continue living that way through his maybe Delta he was bros. imagining that if he were to have a protein shake he and could beat get them. biceps bigger than his face, that he would eventually be able to put the soul patch on like Marcus does, and and Dom and Baird. So, so one one word to describe Ooh. the brotacular fest of the of the soul patches. Can I say two words? Okay. Backstreet Boys. Ooh, that's good. Number three. It's like a gang sign. Mordecai. Borderlands one and Deuce Ooh. and the priest. His facial hair though is like I just wanted to bathe him. I feel like that you have to include it because. You know, the last person to rock that facial hair with any kind of level of success was, in fact, Jafar. That's true. Mordecai is just like a mercenary Jafar. Right. He is like, remember Iago, pet hawk? Right? Oh my See? gosh. All right, so one word to describe Mordecai's Jafar. beard. Jafar. You just, your words are just comparing them to pop culture All right, things. That's on. not Never really mind. fair. Wait, let me go back. What's your word? Grimy. Okay. Four. Four. It's your auditore di Firenze. And I think that that- Requiem's Aki Pachi. I've never played Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Ezio did not have facial hair in Assassin's Creed 2, and in my opinion has far too much facial hair in Assassin's Creed Revelation. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, his facial hair is pretty on point because he keeps it nice and tight, Nice little goatee, right? Full goatee, except here's the key. What defines him as the character is the same thing that defines Desmond. There's a scar right there on the upper lip. And it shows because he doesn't grow hair there because there's scar tissue there. So it adds this kind of character that when he doesn't have any facial hair, you can't really see it. And when he grows this beautiful goatee for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, even with the hood on and everything else, he's distinguished amongst everybody else because he has this little tiny scar. Does that like defeat the purpose of being an assassin? They're also the only hooded characters in the entire universe. 
worse than this. That's true. There are some plot holes. <laughs> One word to describe Ezio. Scar. Uncle Scar. <laughs> Can we keep playing Disney wrestling references yeah. into this? Number V! That's fine. Who we think is the top? I think that this could not even be a remotely close conversation yep. without the inclusion and respect and knelt down worship, if you will, mm -hmm. of the one and the only Conrad Burner. Cheers to Conrad. Cheers to that. Conrad Verner changed the lives of millions of individuals throughout not only the United States, not only the world, but arguably the entire galaxy. galaxy. If yeah. he had not annoyed the ever-loving <laughs> out of me as Commander Shepard for hours and hours and games on end, I would not be the man that sits next to you today. Yeah. His blonde goatee spelled out in multiple Changed languages life. the words punch me in the face yeah and i did oh. oh i did i was more satisfied punching him in the face than defeating the reapers so there you have it so if you want to rock facial hair do it like one of those five people yes and you'll have success except or for get maybe, punched in the face right conrad burner you might yeah. yeah if you agree with these choices or you think we're absolutely insane yeah, we're enough. open to having a flame war with you on this YouTube channel. And tell us what you think about the idea of Man Week because um, we're going to need some positive feedback, boys, if we're going to get <laughs> the Overlord to do it again. And like this video if you enjoyed seeing my lovely husband, and I'll add him in more videos. If not, I will boot him. He will never return. Yeah, we'll get a divorce, it'll be done. Does.